hey loves welcome back to my channel i am so with ijoma and uh, in today's video we are going to learn how to make an inbuilt corset so an inbuilt corset has been trending recently and it gives a very beautiful fitting to dresses so i i decided to share with you guys how to make it this is actually my first attempt so at this point i am done sewing and i just had to do few adjustments but it is very fine and beautiful so we are going to need um bones we reg line bone is the main bone for this type of corset because you are going to sew on your bone in around along the waistline so if you are buying a bone you should buy a reg line bone so first of for the pattern drafting we are going to draft a normal corset pattern the only difference is that the full length of the corset will be up to 24 or 25 so you can see my, that my full length is 24 inches so if you want to make it 26 depending on the height of the person that is okay as so well. So right now, the first thing that I'm going to do is to mark my dart line. I have marked that already. So I will extend my chest line by 1 inch. I will go up by 1 inch. If you want to go up by 1.5, it is okay if you don't want your cleavage to show. So for the yoke of this dress, I will use an Ankara. If you want to use a skin net, fine. At the under bust, I will take out 1 1 inch on each side of my under bust. I used to take out 1.5, right? But but I took out one one inch because my bust is small. I am making this dress for myself. My bust is small. That's why I took out 1.5 and I connected it to the full length. Then I will connect from the bust point to the under bust. I will make my bust curve from the bust point to the under bust. You can see how I connected my dart line to my full length, right? This is how you are going to do yours. Then at the chest line, I will take out one inch, one inch on each side of the chest line on each side of the dart line then i will connect them back to my boss points this method is very easy this is what i use most of the time but the difference is the way i connected from my under boss to my full length then at the chest line i came in by 0 0.5 inch and that is where my sweetheart neckline will start from you will come in by 0 0.5 then you will mark your sweetheart neckline from there if you want yours to have any other type of neckline that is okay then for my side busts i will add half an inch the the distance between my bust points to my under bust is three inch three inches right so i added half an inch to get the side cuts then i will come down by 0 0.5 also at the center and i will connect to my under bust so you come in by 0 0.5 at the chest line and 0 0.5 at the bust points that is at the center piece before you connect to your under bust so right now i will take my bust measurement my bust measurement is 35 divided by 4 plus 2 inches seam allowance and i will mark that then at the waistline i would divide my, my weight normally my waistline is 28 inches but i want to make it 26 i want it to be fitted so at my half length i'll mark my waistline and remember to replace your dart line so this this dart space that i took out two of them is 1.5 inch so i will divide my waist by four I will add back the darts that I took out around the waistline and then I will add 2 inches seam allowance and that will mark. Then at the full length, you will mark your hip divided by 4. Your hip divided by 4. That is what you are going to mark at, at, at the full length and you add 2 inches seam allowance. So after marking that, I will connect from my waistline to my hip line and from my waistline to my bust point as well so this is the front pattern then i will come up come up by three inches or two inches that is from the side you will come up by three inches or two it depends but three is okay for me and from there i will curve my waistline i i went up by three inches and i curved my waistline then for the yoke I told you guys that we use my Ankara for the yoke. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to mark my 
shoulder slant and my neckline so my shoulder slant is one inch then i want the wideness of my neck to be four inches i marked four inches and i will connect that point to my shoulder slant then i want my neckline to be a v-neck and i want it to stop at that area where i came in by 0 0.5 at the chest line you can see where i stopped i came in by 0 0.5 before so that is where my yoke stopped that is where i want my yoke to stop at that is my yoke so i will cut out my armhole and my side cut for now i don't want to open the that area for now i will cut out the back first so we will introduce a new pattern paper for the back so this is the pattern paper and i will place the front on it you can see that i did not add any zipper allowance i did not add any zipper allowance to the back then the full length of the back will stop at that area where i went up by three inches at the side that is where my full length will stop at i don't know if you get so the full length will be the back will be shorter than the front you can see the full length of the back it is shorter it will meet the side of the front and stop it will not go down then i will mark my dart line also remember that i did not add any zipper allowance to this back pattern remember then i will mark my bust measurement divided by four plus two inches seam allowance at the half length i will measure my dart line and anything that i'm doing i will make sure that it aligns with the back so i will take out a dart that is if you want to take out a dart but normally i don't add that to the bottom to the back of my corset if you have been following me for a while you'll notice that i don't add that to the back of my corset because it will still align so i just divided my waistline by four plus two inches seam allowance then at the hip i will also divide my hip by at the full length i will divide my hip by four plus two inches seam allowance and anything that i'm doing i'm cross checking it with the front so i want to, i placed the front on the back to make sure that the wideness of the hip is the same or the wideness for the hip that is for the front pattern and the back pattern are the same i don't want them to be different so i made sure that they are equal and i connected so that is that that is for the back right now so the next thing that we do is to cut off the armhole and the side and after that i will still take out two inches from the center back because i want the back to be open after tying it like after lacing the back it should be open so i'll cut off the side and the armhole for now i have also cut off the full length so right now i will come in by two inches from the center back remember i did not add any zipper allowance to the back and after that i still went in by two inches so i will mark that two inches line down to the full length and up to the shoulder so right now i will smooth my neckline like i will make my neckline to join the two inches line that i measured initially and that will give me the yoke for the back so the yoke for the back will also have a v neckline and it will stop at that area where i came in by two inches and i will cut off my yoke you can see what i did there so this is the yoke for the front i will cut it out first of all then i will divide the front pattern into two i will take off that 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 under bust curve that i took out and the chest and the bust and the over bust tightening remember i tightened the under bust and the over bust or the chest line so this is the pattern for the front and for the back i have my yoke for the back i have my yoke for the front so right now i will cut them out on my fabric and on my lining i will use a plain black fabric for the main body and then i will use ankara for my bra cup and for my yoke so i am done cutting them and the center piece the center front is on fold it is on fold i labeled the bra curve i have the center and the side so you can see the yoke that is all for the front i also cut out the back so the back pattern i told you guys that i will not take out any dart there 
so this is the back and this is the yoke for the back so for the yoke of this dress i uh, will cut them twice because i will use the yoke as the line i will use the fabric as the lining too like the yoke i used an ankara for the yoke right i'll also use an ankara to turn that yoke i will use an ankara to turn the yoke so here is the skirt i cut out a normal a line skirt or a, a shape skirt this is the front and this is the back of the skirt so i will go ahead and turn the front and for the back first of all i will close the zipper allowance of the fabric separately and i will close the zipper allowance of the lining separately i will go ahead and close the zipper allowance of the back of this skirt i will close it separately and i will close the lining separately but for the front, I will turn it together with the lining once and for all. But that will not be the same at the back. So I'll go ahead and close the zipper allowance. I added to two inches. I added two inches zipper allowance to the skirt part. The upper part does not have a zipper allowance, but the skirt part has. So here is the back. I have turned my yoke. I turned the armhole of my yoke also. So right now, I will go ahead and join the yoke to the back bodies and i will also turn it with my lining i will turn the sides the neckline and leave the down part i will not turn the down part of this corset the down part will be open i will just turn the sides and the neckline so i am done turning you can see that i did not turn the down part of this corset i'll go ahead and add channels for my bone i'll just go ahead and run a stitch so we can see the channels i have run two two spaces for my bone and in between them i'll add my eyelets the eyelets will be in between these two bones the eyelets will be in between these two bones so i did not do much at the back so here is the bra curve that i'll be adding to this corset i'll go ahead and use a hemming gum to hold down the fabric to the bra cup itself so here is the fabric for the bra cup i have joined the both of them i will go ahead and add a hemming gum in between the bra cup and the fabric and then iron so after that i will join it to the front so for the front the boning case for the front and the back are not the same for the back i ran a stitch on the fabric and the lining but for the front i want to use this ankara pieces to form a bone casing i just want to use my ankara pieces to do a bone casing so this is my bra cup and this is my yoke i have turned the yoke with an ankara fabric also i also turned my armhole so right now i will join my bra cup my bone and the yoke so i am done running i'm done fixing my bone casing and i have joined my bra cup so right now i'll go ahead and add my yoke my yoke will be one inch apart one inch apart from each other remember they did not cross that 0 0.5 line at the center when i was cut cutting it so right now i will join my yoke and i'll also turn it with the lining i have joined the bra cup of the lining to the lining so right now i'll go ahead and turn so after turning this is what i have i have added my eyelet to the back you can see the back is so fine and i have turned the front i did not turn the down part of the front and the back i told you guys to leave the down part open so right now i'll go ahead and shape my corset i will shape i'll measure my bust and my waist and shape then after that i will close the shoulder i will join the shoulder so i am done joining the shoulder and i am done shaping so i will go ahead and make sure that the side of the front and the back are equal so i will just trim a bit so that the side of the front and the back will be equal i'll just trim a bit just a bit just want to make sure that they are equal at the sides and they are so right now i will go ahead and add my sleeve like i wanted i want a floating sleeve like a hanging sleeve just a simple sleeve i'm trying to trim off the excess allowance that i have down there so i'll go ahead and fix my sleeve at the sides it's just a simple sleeve 
I'll just go ahead and fix my sleeve at the sides then after that i'll also cut a piece that we use to hem the down part this is an ankara piece i always need to fold the down part of this corset so i am done fixing my sleeve but first of all i'll add my bone before closing the down part so i'll go ahead and add my bones I told you guys to use a regline bone because we are going to sew across the waistline. So regline bone is just the best. So after adding my bone in, I will go ahead and close the down part with an Ankara piece. If you have a bias, you can also use a bias strip to close the down part. So I am done closing the down part and I'm ironing the bones so that they will be straight. And that is all for the upper part. This is more like a corset blouse. Just keep it aside for now. So back to the skirt area, I am done turning the front part of the skirt and the waistline is open and I've ironed. So this is the back. I have closed the zipper allowance for the back. I told you guys to close the lining separately and close the main fabric separately so right now i'll open a space where i will fix my zipper so i'll fix the zipper to this back part first of all before turning it with my lining you will still understand why i did this so first of all i'll fix my zipper and after fixing the zipper i can now turn with my lining So I'll go over to my sewing machine and I'll fix this zipper. Then I'll come back and show you guys what I have. So this is the lining. You also open a space for the zipper so that when you open the zipper, the lining will not be blocking. You just open a small space for the zipper as well on the lining. So right now I am done fixing my zipper. So I will go ahead and turn the side and the down part of this skirt so this is the lining i opened the zipper allowance i'll go ahead and close the side of this skirt and the down part as well if you are sewing a lace you don't have to do this the lining will be separate from the and from the fabric from the lace fabric but if you are turning the lace fabric then you will follow the same process so i am done turning the down part and the side of this skirt the waistline is still open for now so the next thing that i will do is to open this zipper i will open this zipper and i will trim off so after trimming off the excess i will go ahead and close let's say three inches from the center of this skirt from that zipper you will close let's say three inches or four inches but three inches is the higher just go ahead and close like from the zipper you will come in by like three inches because that space that place will be on its own you will not attach it to the waistline of your gown so you can see what i did there i have closed the zipper area you can see i came in by like three three inches and the other parts of the waistline are still open i only closed the area that is very close to the zipper allowance because i cannot sew on top of my eyelids remember your eyelids will cross the half length of the back it will cross it and go deeper so you don't have to sew on it so i closed just three inches and i left other sides open that is for the back so right now i'll go ahead and join the front skirt and the back together i will shape the waist and my hip so after doing that i will iron so this is what i have right now and remember the waistline is open the only place that i closed are the three three inches that are very close to the zipper so i will mark my basque waistline i want this dress to have a basque waistline i will mark my basque waistline and i will trim off you will trim the basque on the skirt sorry i made it i had i cut on my line when i was cutting this i made a mistake so this is the corset you introduce this corset back so what you will do now is to determine the half length on this corset 
remember this skirt area will start at the half length so my normal half length is 16 inches but i made this one 17 i want it to come down a bit i measured 17 inches for my half length and i will mark so this is the area where this skirt part will start from so from this area that i marked now i will mark a straight line to the back so you attach this skirt on this line that i'm marking now and you will stop before the eyelet you will stop before the eyelet so i will determine my half length at the other side of this corset i will determine my half length at the other side of this corset and i'll mark a straight line and that is where the waistline of the back will be attached on as well you will not reach the you will not reach the eyelet just mark a straight line on um, that is where you will sew on this line now is where you will sew on so the next thing is to mark the basque so i'll open up my skirt and i'll place this basque on my corset and make sure that the side seams are matching each other make sure that they align make sure that they align so right now you go ahead and trace out this basque shape that you have on your skirts i'll advise you to mark very well on the fabric so that when you are joining you will not find it difficult so you can see the line i have here this is the line that i will attach these skirts on and do not cross your eyelids. You can see the area where I marked a vertical line. That is where you will stop at. So right now, you place your center, the center of the basket. You place it on the center of the corset as well. Then you go ahead and run a stitch on that line. You will follow that line that you marked. You go ahead and run a stitch and remember to stop before the eyelet so i have attached one side and i stopped before the eyelet you can see that area that i closed before it is looking neat that is the reason why i closed it so you will start from the center again you will start from the center and you will sew to the other side of this corset and stop before the eyelets so i am done doing that and this is what we have you can see that this corset is longer than the normal half length the normal corset that we normally sew we trim the half length but this one continued after the half length and it will help snatch your waist very well so if you zip it up this is what you will have it looks fine on the outside and on the inside so if i turn the this is the front and if i turn the back and open it up you will see that the corset continued it's reached like 24 or 25 inches it depends on the length you want your own corset to have so thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any question feel free to drop it in the comment section i will reply so this is the back of the corset it is very fine if i open it up you will see that my eyelet continued so it is looking very fine and neat so thank you so much and please do not forget to subscribe and click on the like button so that more people can get to see this video see you all in my next video